decision, but it still has to be annexed. Instead of going through more than one procedure at different times, so it's just easier to wait. Uh, next question. Um, Oak Grove Road's a state road. I've talked with the state. They've heard nothing from the city concerning realignment or annexing any part of their road. Uh, 8th o Avenue is a county dedicated easement, which in your annexation you said it's not a roadway. The other part, when you did your road study, 8th o Road runs into Powder House Road. You can't close up at, at a dedicated easement. It's going to be an easement forever. So there's going to be people that keep from coming down Whiskey Road and running into that traffic there. It's going to go down Powder House and come in the back way to get to the Cracker Barrel down 8th O Road. Did y'all put that into your consideration? Yeah, we know that 8th O will someday become more of a major road and there's no intent to close it. Oh, yeah, but right now you said you own it. You said well, you it's on it. city property. Pardon me? It's on city property. Right, yeah. and it's maintained county, by the county. The county does not own that road. They, they have a dedicated the easement, and they've been, they've been draining that road for over 25 years. I don't understand that. So what, what's Why have you not talked with them about annexing oh, over there? We have talked to the county. I don't have any paperwork for you to talk with the county. Well, they're going to agree to this, and when I talk to... Again, um, they, they have, that is our property. And there's an easement across our property. All we're doing is annexing our property. Your annexation ordinance clearly says that this is not a roadway. It's written in your no, annexation it's, ordinance. It's, it's our land. It there is a there, roadway. There is a road there, and we tend to <coughs> reconnect that road. In fact, we're going to asphalt that portion um, in between our pond and Cracker Barrel once the sewer line is extended. Are you well, against all us? All I'm saying is, I, I, can you just answer the point? Are you against us? I mean, oh, I think the road is great. Point. I think the great road is great. No, I'm well, I, the road. We, I think the way you're doing the annexation, Mr. Leduc, is, is, is wrong. Leduc is wrong. You, you've done this. What you, what you do is you write all this stuff up. Can, can you explain what's wrong about the annexation? Okay, I can. It's none of it is contiguous. What you're trying to do, Mr. Stubbs. It's, it's contiguous to the Lowe's property, which is in the city. And that's around the back. I agree. But and that's why you're trying to get in. That's why you're trying to get in the property that belongs to Mr. George. Once that property belongs to Mr. George, it is contiguous to Lowe's. Then it's also contiguous with the piece of property that the city bought from the ark, which makes it all contiguous, which means it can be annexed. So what's wrong with that? The problem with that is that you haven't talked with the state about Oak Grove, which it says in here that you must get permission to annex your road owned by the state from the state. The state always allows us to annex roadway that is contiguous to property which we are annexing. Okay, well we they always that. allow that. We went they've, never, they've never denied that. We went through that once before with Whiskey Road. Yeah, okay. It's a completely different annexation. Okay, but here's what, here's, here's the part. I'm not going to talk to you about Whiskey Road. I'm going to talk to you about what you told Council about Whiskey Road being their attorney. You told Council that well, we're, we're not annexing Whiskey Road, we're annexing a piece of property that's contiguous to the city. But the way the annexation is done is what I'm trying to get at is that you do it under the table. And I'll actually you, you, everything's been done at a public meeting. I'll think to you why I think it's done that way. And, 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 and the, the, annexation, the annexation that was approved by City Council has been blessed by Judge um, Judge Early. No, in no, court. no, Judge Early <coughs> his ruling too. Judge Early did not rule the annexation was legal. He did not rule on the yes, legality of annexation. He ruled that the state had no standing. Okay, that's all. But he, he, he certainly he certainly allowed the annexation to stand. He said the state had no because of the ninety day deal. Right, and, the, and because the state law. Right. Here, here's what he said. This is out of you now. Council at that time was briefed by him and Mr. Pierce of what the annexation law said with respect to the road. Council was advised that the annexation could be challenged legally if it was done in a timely manner. Council went forward the ordinance that was proposed by Council in 207. 
Council was advised that if the annexation was challenged in a timely manner, it would not go through. Okay. It was not challenged in a timely so, manner. It, it complies with state law. Right. Mr. DeWall, his answer most of that was that, well, let's go ahead and do it anyway and see if we can get away with it. Yeah. Right. So for me, to fight this annexation that you're doing right now, it's going to cost thirteen hundred and fifty dollars. All you have to do after I file a grievance against the annexation is give me a uh, de uh, not declaratory, <coughs> but a consent order. The annexation goes away. It don't cost you the city a dime. Cost me thirteen hundred and fifty bucks. Is that not true? Yeah. I don't see that. What is this thirteen hundred and fifty dollar figure that you're coming? Well, out my attorney fee, which is for your partner. Was twelve hundred dollars for me to fight the annexation of New Orleans up to the Lake Drew, and the final piece is one hundred and fifty bucks. That's a lot of money when you know you know that the annexation is wrong, and you and Mr. Pierce continue with the annexation. Along I, with you. I've, I've never said the annexation was wrong. I said the annexation would be proper if it was not challenged in accordance with state law. And it, said, frankly, in my legal opinion, we could annex Canada. If we wanted to, oh, if nobody it. challenged it within 90 days. Right. But, but obviously the city's not going to do that. But state law would allow that to occur. Well, I, I, you know, you're the attorney, I'm just a little guy out here, and I think what you're trying to do to the Cracker Barrel, you should let the Cracker Barrel come in, build their restaurant, don't spend all the money. Even uh, Ms. So, Clyburn, so they're the ones that asked Ms. us. made the statement. Ms. Clyburn said, I don't like the idea of being so freely spending the city's money. <clears throat> the question for that was that, the answer to that was, well, sometimes we have to do what's best for the city, so we need to freely spend the city's money. That's a quote. Miss Price came into that too. Mr. DeWaugh is the only one that stood up to council and voted against this property. You don't need that property. It's a, I mean, it's a hole in the ground. You don't need it. Why you want it, I have no clue. Why you want to spend that kind of money and then you're talking about maintaining it? The city's got to go out there and keep it up. Anyway, uh, that's all I have to say. Thank you very much. Do we, need a, do we need a motion, Mr. Mayor, to move forward? Yes, we do. I, I've got a point I want to make, and I hope it's a correct point. Uh, for years and years and years, we've had storm drainage water going down Whiskey Road and going into Mr. George's pond. For years and years and years, he's allowed us to use that pond. We need that pond. Where in the world else are we going to put the money to the, the water, excuse me, uh, that is going down Whiskey Road, going into some of our businesses and whatever. We've had a wonderful arrangement with Mr. George. So the fact that we, you said we don't need the pond, I don't think that's true. We need that pond. We've been using it for all these years. Now we had a negotiation with Mr. George. Sometimes negotiations don't come out the way either party particularly